uh, Tom McKay, right here, your fantastic host, 3D Politics. Got David Van, David Oldham, uh, <laughs> right here on 3D Politics. We're going to talk about the the giant virus in the room, uh, called the Cordoba <laughs> virus, because we're eventually going to talk about it. Uh, but um, uh, and, I also and just have just a, as a note, yes, um, I am not a doctor, but I did stay at Holiday Inn Express, <laughs> uh, so. Well, I, I am... Uh, <laughs> For those who remember the commercials. <laughs> uh, you remember, of course, the, uh, uh, we, the, the uh, buy one, get one, HD one, buy one, get one free. H1N1. Uh, H1N1, H1N1. 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 Right, buy one, right. get one. <laughs> that was horrible. And then there was the swine uh, flu, which I thought was uh, just another advertising campaign by Chick-fil-A mm -hmm. to force people to eat chicken. <laughs> I had no idea was that was actually a thing. Was Chick-fil-A around back then? Was Chick-fil-A back then? Yeah, they were. Well, sure, the were. first one, yeah. regionally. It's an eternal uh, drive through It's with yeah. Christ and stuff. So. Yeah. Uh, I, I would say, I, yeah. Go ahead. I, Go ahead. Look, yeah. I just wanted to make sure they knew who they were watching, and I'm also going to try to give. Um, uh, I've got a constitutional query for old about uh, nonprofits, and I'm going to talk a little bit about uh, uh, an idea I have for fixing it, uh, how to fix it. Okay. And so, but let's talk about the medical alert that kicked in, uh, the giant virus that's in the room, uh, Oklahoma City, K O K. K-O-K-H, mm -hmm. the number of people being tested for the coronavirus climbed significantly on Friday. According to the Oklahoma State Department of Health website, they had four people who were being tested as possible cases on Thursday. The number now stands at 37. Go, David. Well, <laughs> uh, as of this afternoon, they announced that we've now got nine cases, eight of which were people who traveled to other places Correct. and brought it back, and they're convinced that. The unique thing about this one, which is in central Oklahoma, is that it was somebody who didn't leave the state. It's somebody who contracted it here. And their policy is they, uh, if two positive tests happen, then that's confirmed, because right. you could have a false test. Right. On it, so yeah, so that's what we've got. We've got nine now. Yeah, I don't know if you heard. Trump uh, was asked about uh, Governor Stitt. Yeah, I you know. hear about the tweet mouth uh, thing that he had. Twit was out last weekend with his kids. Took a picture of him there at a restaurant, and he said, "Hey, support a restaurant, man. You know." I know. Yeah, it, I tried to today, and they had they were closed down except yeah. for the drive-through. My, well, it wasn't drive-through, but the takeout. My, how quickly life can change in three days. Yeah. It you really know. does. So, uh, yeah. So and it's all there. hype. Now, Trump, David. It's the media hype. <laughs> Trump's in a press conference. I replayed it here about an hour ago, and and uh, they asked him, you know, what have you got to say about, you know, Governor Nunez in Florida or, you know, Governor of Oklahoma encouraging people to go out to restaurants and that. Right. And Trump said something. This is really important because there's a principle in this. He says, you know, he says, I haven't seen that. He says, no, in Oklahoma, they may not, they don't have it as bad there. And uh, that's a call that needs to be made on the ground in that state, given right. the conditions. Right. Now, whereas earlier today, His Highness Emperor Andrew Cuomo says the whole nation needs to have the same standard, same right. policy, everything. We all need to live like New Yorkers. You know, nobody right. could really right. see this kind of social distancing being a thing that you had to do but i will say there's a couple of business models out there that were way ahead of the curve and that is epic charter schools and yes. webcam girls i mean <laughs> they are way ahead uh not missing a ching -cha ching like that but look at epic charter uh, schools saving the day for the talk the education department had to call a little meeting to talk about how they're gonna not have school uh, and so look how Epic Charter is perfectly built in to fix the problem yeah. and how the state right. always needs parents. We need your help to save yeah. us again. So I love how they hate uh, the parents and Epic uh, when things are going well. Yeah. Uh, try to restrict. Right. Yeah, we need to have a second mid-year adjustment just for the virtual charter schools now because they are taking in a whole bunch more people right. who don't want their kids going back to school after spring break, but they want their kids to have a good education. Right. So this is setting up perfectly for all the virtual charter schools. Right. Epic just happens to be the biggest one. Right. And so when 
students transfer out and transfer in right now epic will take those kids although they get no funding whatsoever right you know if right. those kids come in after the end of october epic has to teach them for no money 